You know you're an INFP when you feel that your whole life has been this big search for universal peace and harmony and the kind of utopia or dream ideal where everything is perfect, everything is good, everything is right and everything is in place. You know you're an INFP when you feel that you have constantly been searching for yourself and for your own truth, your own individual truth. Who am I? Why am I here? What is it I am meant to do? The INFP cannot help but always knows that they have something special about them. There is something special about me and there is something special about everyone. Everyone has something unique about them. Something that is true and honest and natural. Something that only they can do. Something only they can say. Something only they will ever feel. You know you're an INFP when you feel that you're constantly caught daydreaming and fantasizing about day-to-day -day events, meeting people, charming somebody, a prince, churning up uh, magic, uh, you know, suddenly the suddenly you find a rainbow and at the end of the rainbow there's treasure, you know. You know you're an INFP when you can't help but fantasize and uh, go start thinking about other things, you know, J.K. Rowling, one archetypal INFP, she got fired because she couldn't stop thinking about this crazy world of Harry Potter, you know? And, uh, you know, you're an INFP when uh, you have a constant quest towards balance, serenity, calm and insight. When you're searching for a truth, when you're searching for an answer, when you're caught thinking excessively about this one idea, this, this one thought that can't escape your head. You know you're an INFP when your mind runs in multiple directions at once, creating all kinds of things all together, conjuring up this unique world that you have, and only you have, and nobody else has. You know you're an INFP when uh, you do all these things in flow, naturally, effortlessly. You never ask to do it, it just happens. You never force it, it just comes. You never have to rush it, it's just there. You know you're an INFP when you're a dreamer and an idealist. When you see the world as it could be. When you understand things that nobody else understands, when you have insight you should not even possess. How can, I, how can you know this about me? Well, that's simple. I'm an INFP. I have antennas striking out in all possible directions. I see and I read minds. I see what people are thinking. I see what they are feeling. I see what they are going through. I understand them as if I was understanding myself through them. And I think about people excessively. It's not just that I notice out of nowhere. I actually think about it all the time. I introspect. I sit down and I wonder and I wonder and I wonder. Why did you say that? What made you say that? What did you feel when that happened to you? How must that have felt to you? How would it have felt to me if it happened to me? The INFP cannot help but on introspect. They love to search for their own individual truth. And they love to search for the truth of the individual in the community around them. The INFP has many stressors and issues with their own strong feeling of individuality. They know who they are and they know what comes from inside of them. And they know their own feelings and they know their own experiences and their own truth. But how can they deal with the fact that other people hold different truths and hold different answers? How can you process the conflict and potential discord in the fact that you feel something and that nobody else will understand or will ever feel? As an INFP, there is a struggle in coming to terms with the community. What if uh, the community will reject me for who I am or for what I feel? What if people will tell me you should not feel this way? What if people will come down on me like there's something wrong with me? What if people will assume that 
the way I feel or the way I process things is too different. What if I will be burned as a witch or as crazy because of the insight that I have? What if people will disagree with the truth that I have found? What if people will reject me and not understand the things and answers that I've got? What if I, like Plato in the cave metaphor, when he comes up to the people and tells them about beautiful worlds and possibilities and harmony and utopia, will be laughed at and ignored? The INFP is the idealist individualist, so their own personal truth and the, their own natural self is the most important, you know. Not having to be forced to do anything, not having the system force itself on you. Sometimes it can feel that way, you know, that the system is trying to force you into a box. The school, society, your parents, everybody is trying to mold you into this gray mass. Uh, one of the crowd, one of the people, one of the system, part of the ship, part of the crew. Uh, the INFP can struggle with this... Uh, Forced, or this feeling of force that comes from the system. But at the same time, the INFP must understand that I have an individuality that nobody can beat out of me. I have a truth that no person can scoff at or laugh away. No matter what people say, it will always be there. This will always be my truth. Because as long as I am here, this truth will be here too. So... Also, the INFP has to make peace with their natural individuality and their flow. They must not make the mistakes of others and laugh at and judge themselves for their own natural self and their own authenticity. The INFP must not harbor the judgment of the crowd or of the system towards themselves. They must not harbor it towards other INFPs or other individualists out there projecting their own insecurities at other people, they must remain clear and they must remain true as they go through life. We take personality tests, we introspect, we listen to ourselves, we sit down, we meditate, we ruminate, we introspect because we have to recognize daily who we are. We have to awaken every day we get out of bed. We have to know who we are. We have to know what our truth is. And we cannot wake up one day and pretend that we are somebody else. Forgetting who we are. Forgetting what we feel. Forgetting what we care about. I do personality psychology because... Similar to, you know, photography, you know, there's now selfies of us everywhere we go. There's pictures taken of us, you know. There's thousands and thousands of minutes of video footage of me on YouTube. I see my face every day. But do I see myself? Do I really see inside? Do I really know what's going on? Who can really claim to know what's going on inside? How can we ever paint personality... How can we ever take a photograph of a person's mind, of their feelings, of their emotions? What choices can we make if we don't know ourselves? You know, what careers can we get? What should we work with? What should we do for a living? How can we make these decisions if we don't know ourselves? Can we only make them then... Tactically, is it only about money? Is it only about how much it pays? Is it only about what the system tells us to do? Is it only about what we're good at? Or is it also about what we want, what we feel, what we care about? Is it also that we have to understand ourselves to gain valuable insight into life? I tell you this because I think a lot of INFPs dismiss their own self-awareness as something fruitless or impossible or unnecessary. Why do I have to know myself? It doesn't matter to the system anyways. How much does that pay? How much money do I make from that, you know? Yeah. If you've asked yourself that, I think the system has gotten a bit further than it should have. 
life is uh, to me about you know those moments you know where you can take care of other people and help others for me life is about listening to other people it's about understanding people life is about those serene peaceful moments of harmony where everything is quiet around you you got a nice relaxing chill hip-hop track playing in the background you can sit down and read a book, for example, right now I'm reading to Brandon Sanderson's uh, The Hero of Ages, book three in an amazing trilogy. Life is about those moments, like tonight I'm going to watch Harry Potter Fantastic Beasts 2. Life is about those moments spent with loved ones and the ones you care about, the people who do get you. And here's the thing, people do and can get you. People can share sometimes moments with you. People can share feelings with you. And I say this as 9FJ. I always feel like people have more in common than they have differences. And I know often 9FPs tend to feel the other way around. That people have more differences than they have similarities. But I say this uh, feeling like. It doesn't necessarily matter if people feel the exact same way I do, but it matters that people feel and it matters that people care. So what we do have to foster is an awareness of truth. You know, you have to listen to yourself and your own truth. And you also have to gain an interest and awaken to the truth of other people. And you have to understand that there is a harmony to be found in everyone's shared truth and shared perspectives. There is some kind of richness in when people can speak out and be themselves and when you can speak out and when you can be yourself. And there is a connection, even if it's not necessarily the same for every person, there is a connection when people can open up. You know, those times when you've been able to truly express yourself and what was on your mind without judgment or the times when other people could express themselves to you without the same judgment. I think as an INFP what you need is also some degree of projects that connect to who you are. You know, you can sit by yourself and be yourself all you want, but I think the self is a person that has to be out in the world and actually show itself. I believe the self actually has to do something. The self is a doing word, it's not a passive word. So the self is something we're always becoming and always stepping into every day, you know, it's like... Uh, an outfit that you take up uh, after you get out of bed. It's uh, something that ties very closely to you and it's something you can only feel in the moment when you're out doing something. You know, you can think about it and you can be detached and you can sit down and you can uh, imagine it, but it's not the same as when you're out doing it. You know, you're probably sitting down waiting right now for your dreams to come to you, for somebody to save you, for somebody to discover your art, for somebody to read your writing and tell you it's great and to turn it into a bestseller. You're probably waiting for somebody right now to get you out of yourself and to push you and to motivate you and to get you going. You're probably waiting for energy to come to you, for motivation to come to you. When energy comes to me, when I'm relaxed and rested and everything is good, then I will be able to do this. Then I will be able to finally find insight, finally change things, finally make a difference, finally speak my own truth, finally create something that is truly me. But energy and motivation is something that comes to you in the moment when you do these things. Energy is something you feel, it's a reaction, it's uh, when you start out saying something and then as you do, as you've said it, you feel the force behind it and the truth behind it. And then you feel the motivation, this feeling that I said something important. I said something to be proud of. I said something that brought me pride and satisfaction and joy. And I said something that gave me energy and a rush and thrill. So as an INFP, what I tell you is uh, find... Find your flow type, find your introverted intuition, find your introverted feeling, find your feeling perceiving, find your intuitive perceiving, 
Find those things, find your idealism, find your individuality in every moment, in every interaction with every person you meet. Find your individuality, speak your individuality, show your individuality, show your ideals, show your dreams, share who you are. Speak truthfully about yourself. Speak the deepest, innermost truth that you have ever found about the world and about yourself. Speak and say something different, something nobody has ever said before. Speak and speak for your utopia or for your dreams or for the purpose of harmony and for a peace of mind and for a better world. So this is my rallying cry to all line of peace out there. Go out and make the world a better place. Go out to the groups and organizations out there that you somehow fear will try to interfere with your individuality and with your personal values. And go into these groups and organizations and remain true to yourself. Because no person can break you, no organization can change you or your integrity as long as you remember to constantly listen to yourself to constantly be yourself and to constantly speak yourself. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video.